Hello everyone, this is Devang here and I welcome you back to another episode in my series of Costology. Costology is my series of short videos where we talk about certain interesting terms in my favorite subject of costing. Yes. Now, my term for today is a term called shutdown point. Shutdown point. Now, what exactly is shutdown point? This is used again at many places in costing. This is a general tool in many calculations of costing, right? Mostly this is part of CVP analysis. But what does this mean? Well, shutdown point is a level of sale. It is a level of sale below which it is better to shut down my business, but shut down temporarily rather than continue with higher losses. You know, break even point. What is interpretation of break even point? Break even point indicates that if your sales is expected less than BEP, then you will incur losses. Now, if your estimate is really less than break even point, then you know that you're going to incur losses. Now, just because you're going to incur losses, does it mean you will shut down business? No, because if you shut down business, then you might incur more losses because fixed cost you will have to still bear. Right? So shutdown point is another level which is always lesser than break even point. See break even point below break even point you start incurring losses. Below shutdown point you start incurring losses more than the shutdown loss. So shutdown point is the level below which it is advisable to shut down the business because continued business gives you more losses. Now this entire concept of shutdown point will come into picture only and only if only if there exists some fixed cost which is avoidable by shutting down see by shutting down the business you should get some benefit at least yes what will be the benefit of shutting down business see if you shut down business your sales is gone your variable cost is gone your contribution is gone but fixed cost will still remain so shutting down the business should give you some benefit benefit in terms of saving some fixed cost. So if there exists at least some fixed cost which is avoidable, only then shutdown point concept will exist. That's my second rule here. Shutdown point, the concept of shutdown point will exist only and only if there is at least some fixed cost which is avoidable. Avoidable by shutting down. Okay. So my calculation of shutdown point is a simple formula. Directly, I'll explain the formula. It says shutdown point is my avoidable fixed cost. Avoidable fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. So shutdown point is simply avoidable fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. See, normally break even point. How do you find? If I compare this with the formula of break even point, they go break even point is total fixed cost divided by contribution per unit yes break even point is a total fixed cost divided by contribution per unit while shutdown point is not total fixed cost why so difference because they go break even point is the point where you want to avoid entire loss you don't want any loss so you want to recover entire fixed cost but in case of shutdown point, you know that your estimated sales are going to be less. You know that some fixed cost you will be able to avoid, but remaining fixed cost, you know that you have to bear it. Yes. So imagine out of your total fixed cost, there are two parts, avoidable and compulsory. Out of your total fixed cost, imagine there are two parts. One is avoidable fixed cost. Another is compulsory fixed cost. Now you know that compulsory fixed cost anyways you are going to incur. Whether you shut down or whether you continue, compulsory fixed cost anyways you are going to incur, it will be incurred in any case. Whether you shut down or whether you continue, that compulsory fixed cost is not relevant to your decision. What is relevant is the avoidable fixed cost. You continue business only if you are able to recover at least the avoidable fixed cost. If you are able to recover at least the avoidable fixed cost, then you continue, otherwise you shut down. So to recover avoidable fixed cost, how much units do you need? For recovering only the avoidable fixed cost, how much units do you need? That is shutdown point. 
to recover total fixed cost what units you need that is break even point yes but right now my discussion is that how much units do we need to recover at least the avoidable fixed cost right so to recover avoidable fixed cost i need avoidable fixed cost divided by contribution this much units is what i need if you are able to get this much units then you continue if you are not able to reach this much units then it is better to shut down and therefore avoid that avoidable fixed cost yeah <clears throat> If your sales is expected less than shutdown point, then it is better to shut down and save that avoidable fixed cost. For example, say my normal fixed cost is 1 lakh. After shutdown, my fixed cost will still remain 40,000. So how much is avoidable? Therefore, avoidable fixed cost is balance 60,000. Yes, so 60,000 seems to be my avoidable fixed cost. So shutdown point will be as per the formula. 60,000 is avoidable fixed cost. How many units do you need to recover this 60,000? Well, how many units will you need? Your contribution is 20 per unit. So how many units will you need? 60,000 divided by 20, 3,000 units you will need. Divide by 20. Yes, 3,000 units minimum you will need. So if you expect your demand to be more than 3000, then you continue doing business. If you expect your demand to be lesser than 3000, it is better to shut down. Done? That's our concept of shutdown point. This concept is used again at many places. It is applicable in CA intermediate, also applicable at CA final level. It is widely applied at many places in the subject of costing. It is not particular to any specific chapter. Done? I hope this gives you some sense into the concept of shutdown point. Until next time, thank you very much. Bye-bye.